Hey, hi everybody. Welcome to Life After Mental Illness. I'm Bill McPhee, your recovery expert. And recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anyone else other than who you are today. <clears throat> today I want to do uh, a couple things in this vlog. Uh, first of all, I want to bring to your attention of a speaking engagement that I have um, in New Brunswick, uh, New Brunswick, Canada. In St. John, actually, New Brunswick, Canada. And uh, so if you know any, uh, have any relatives uh, in New Brunswick or uh, in St. John close, um, please feel free to email me for details. Um, I'm at bill at billmcphee.ca and McPhee is M-A-C-P-H-E-E. -E. So bill at billmcphee.ca. And I'm gonna be, um, I'm gonna be at the uh, Villa Madonna at one, uh, 115th Villa Mondana Road in Rothsay, and that's uh, uh, St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a conference there and speaking on recovery. So feel free, again, if you uh, know of somebody uh, in the New Brunswick uh, province, and uh, especially in St. John, New Brunswick, uh, feel free to contact them. And if you want more information, again, just email me at bill at billmcphee.ca. Now I want to jump over to a letter that I had from uh, from Gladys, and uh, Gladys is responding to uh, one of the uh, vlogs I did uh, a little bit ago. So I'm just reading that this here. It says uh, I uh, in one of my uh, my uh, newsletters that I send out every Wednesday, uh, I, I I commented and I wrote an article, and this is just part of the article. And then I want to uh, read Gladys's response to that article. So I wrote. I'm curious to hear your thoughts on the latter half of my video, the part dealing with the tail wagging the dog, and how parents of adult children diagnosed with schizophrenia, and sometimes even spouses, should be dealing with their loved one's refusal of treatment. It's something I hear about a lot when I'm at a speaking engagement in Canada and the U.S., and it's the biggest reason I expanded my recovery coaching to include family members. Can you relate? So I'm asking people if they could relate, and Gladys uh, sent me this uh, email, and she says, she says, Hello, Bill. I once had a boyfriend who was diagnosed with bipolar and OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. It was severe, although he could work and did as a security guard. He tried some treatment, talk therapy, and some medication, but said he felt weird and stopped everything. I have schizoaffective disorder and PTSD, that's post-traumatic stress disorder, as well as numerous physical ailments and am on disability. I have always taken my medications and, and did talk therapy from time to time and feel it is my responsibility to do what I can about my illness. I did not feel sorry for him feeling weird. As a result, and, and told him he needed to be responsible for himself and his illness. I told him I could not care for me and care for him, too. After a while, he told me he did not have the energy to live with his illness and be in a romantic relationship. He announced that, but I am the one that broke up the relationship. It was very painful. Well, thank you, Gladys, for sharing that and uh, uh, commenting on your uh, thoughts and uh, from that video. So thank you. Um, in uh, my next video, I'm going to take a question uh, uh, most likely from uh, Peg. And Peg asks about uh, hard-to-treat schizophrenia, whether some, there's are some people who actually uh, are treatment-resistant. So we're going to go into that a little bit and, and how to deal with that. So uh, once again, I'm just going to um, close here and say that again, if you know of anybody in St. John, New Brunswick, Canada, um, in, the, uh, um, in the area there or around there, I'm going to be speaking at the Villa Madonna, at 115 Villa Madonna Road in Rosse on Tuesday, October the 10th. That's Tuesday, October the 10th. I'm going to be in New Brunswick, St. John, at 115 Villa Madonna Road in Rossay, and uh, we're going to talk about recovery to a group there. Okay, if you want more information, just remember, 
uh, bill at billmcphee.ca. And again, you have a great day. And remember, there is life after mental illness. And recovery is when you wouldn't want to be anyone else other than who you are today. Have a great day. Bye-bye, everyone. Hi. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And follow me on Facebook and Twitter.